If you're wondering how to create personalized 2D and 3D objects in Magic Blend, stay with me. We're going to see how it works. First of all, you have to log into cloud.magicplan.app to start creating a collection of personalized objects. You cannot do that from the app. You have to go here under objects and you can start creating your first collection. You will select a name and if you want, you can also upload an SVG file as a cover of your collection, but you don't have to and you create it. Here it is. Now we start creating our first object. I will call it coffee table because it will be, of course, a yeah, coffee table. Then you see that you can select the type of object. If it's a floor, a wall or an abstract object, you can select the measurement system. If you prefer metric, you can change it. And you can also select here if you want the object to be resizable, if you want to keep the aspect ratio, it's a floating object or an asymmetrical object. And once you're happy with the settings, you save and preview. And now we can upload our files. For the 2D objects, you need an SVG file. And for the uh, 3D version of that object, you need to upload an OBJ file. We will upload here a 2D top view file for the coffee table. I will not fill in all the other um, views, but you can see here that you also have different, let's say, views of your object. So you could also upload more SVG files for your personalized object. You could also upload an object teaser image. And I will also upload the uh, OBJ file for the uh, 3D version. And we have to save and preview to see if the uploaded files work. So we click here. If the uh, object appears here in 2D and if you upload an OBJ file also in 3D, then everything is fine. If you do save and preview and the file doesn't appear here, then there is something wrong in the file that you uploaded. So I will leave a link under this video so you can check what to do if the file doesn't appear here. So what can be done to fix the file that you will upload in the Magic Plan Cloud? Good. Now let's go back to the uh, category of our object. I will create one more object because I would like to add something with colors and we can call this object chairs then we can leave it like this. It's a floor object, yes. Then uh, I will do metric in this case just to change a bit and I will keep it resizable. Then I save and preview and now I'm gonna upload my 2D top view file. Here it is. Okay, we save and preview again. Voila. Now you see that I have the 2D view. The 3D view will not be there because I did not upload an OBJ file. Now we go back to the uh, folder with our objects and very important, we have to publish it to the uh, app. And just as a side note, you see that we created this object folder here in the uh, workspace called 123 test. This means that now we're going to open the app and we have to go in the same workspace. It will not be visible in every workspace if we have more than one workspace. OK, now let's take my tablet and I'm going to open the uh, Magic Plan app. Now I'm going to open this project. And as you can see here, there's a yellow line saying workspace update available apply this is important so that the uh, files the uh, changes that we did in the cloud will be visible in the uh, app i select a floor here i select a room as we do for every object from the object library we tap on insert object and here we have our category called test 
And as you can see, we have the objects that we just created together. I will add the uh, coffee table. I will position it here like this. And I will also add the uh, chairs so that we have both objects visible. So I go back here in my personal category and I add my chairs. I will position them here. Now we can also take a look in 3D, but we will only see the coffee table because the chairs are only added in the 2D view, okay? So let's have a look. And here it is. So we have our lovely coffee table. And if we want, we can also edit our chairs and upload an OBJ file so that we can see also the uh, colored chairs in 3D. And we could add as many personalized objects as we want. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it is useful for you to understand how this custom object manager works. If you are not sure how to create SVG files, I'm going to leave a link down here of a video that we did with Fernando, our graphic designer, so that you can see how to create your own SVG files. Otherwise, you can download SVG files also for free from several pages online. If you need any help, feel free to contact us. We're always happy to help. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.